At six, JCPS's superintendent says they're nearly 30% done with new bus routes for next school year. The district is in the midst of a major transportation overhaul. Also today, a response to that blistering audit of the first day of school fiasco. Isaiah Kim Martinez and Cedar senior photojournalist Alyssa Newton have those details. Superintendent Marty Polio was frank. He believes some of the claims made in that March audit are inaccurate, but he did say the district agrees with the majority of the recommendations, and he says many of those are being put into place right now. I think we have improved as a result of these recommendations. In front of an advisory committee, JCPS Superintendent Marty Polio doubled down on his sentiments laid out in this letter. It's the official response to the report published by Prismatic a consulting firm hired by the Board of Ed to investigate the botched transportation rollout. We did have some responses of what we felt were um, not quite factual things that occurred at the specific meeting itself. Polio takes exception to some of the company's claims, including one he says downplays the district's driver shortage and ignores their efforts to increase pay. In the letter, he calls these, quote, erroneous assertions. Overall, though, the superintendent writes, JCPS leadership agrees with most of the findings. And I would say that the vast majority of them we are either complete or on the way to completing. Polio says JCPS has introduced five new work teams to divvy up responsibilities for a successful start to next school year. We're told the district is also going to be enforcing what's called a pause period toward the end of July. It's essentially a cutoff time when JCPS won't add any more bus stops. That's to give drivers and families enough time to be ready for next year's bus routes. If I could go back and do something, it would be this pause period where you'd say, okay, no bus stops are being added after July 25th. You know, we'll get to those. The audit found JCPS's communication and collaboration was ineffective. One of Prismatic's recommendations, adjusting school start times. JCPS responding, saying they've condensed them to three with a priority on keeping routes in geographic regions. If the trend continues with the way bus drivers are going locally and nationally, this will be an ongoing issue for the next decade or better on a, on a yearly basis. The most immediate next step, finishing those all new routes. Polio writing, there will be weekly transportation status meetings. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11, on your side.